What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Eddie Wright and thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a different approach to our channel and reviewing a product in pictures versus the normal video. We all want the most efficient cooker possible, whether it's propane, charcoal, stick, or even pellet. We want consistent, efficient temperature during all our cooks. I did a little research after purchasing my GMG Jim Bowie Prime on ways to make it a little more efficient and decided to purchase the Gaki Downdraft by Don Gaki. Now this is totally a non-sponsored review as I paid for this product and I've had quite a few questions as to how it's been performing and most importantly, does it really work? So after several months of putting it through its paces, I can finally answer those questions. So I've had this downdraft installed about a month after I purchased my grill. I felt I could pull a little more efficiency and burn less fuel if I grabbed this device and gave it a try. So I did. Now with this, I will say there is no magic trick element that answers everyone's questions. But for this one, it was a start to improving an already great pellet grill. So please excuse my grill as it gets heavy usage and we're on an off cycle cleaning week. Now let's talk about the pros. Right off, I noticed a difference in fuel usage between the temperature ranges of 185 degrees and 265 degrees. A 20 pound bag running between those temperatures usually lasts me a solid three cooking sessions ranging from ribs to chicken and maybe a reverse sear session on a steak. The fuel consumption was down a lot during these temperatures and a quarter close setting on the damper on the downdraft. Now with that being said, it's a little cold in my area and I'm also running a thermal blanket on my GMG and it helps contain the heat. The temperatures are a bit overstated than what's on the LCD panel after calibrating, but I'm okay with that. I monitor all my cooks closely and I have a second and third temperature device that I use on occasion. The heat zones are very clear even with moving the heat shield on the GMG. I could easily do a brisket on one side and ribs on the other as the heat runs normally hotter on the exhaust side of the grill. Now above the 265 degree mark, you're going to get what I consider a pretty normal pellet usage. There may be a slight savings, but nothing I was able to notice. Heat is very concentrated to the exhaust side during high temperature session, but not bad. During the holiday break, I was able to load four turkeys, spatchcock, and they all cooked pretty good on time between 15 and 20 minutes of each other. Overall, this was not expected. Thanksgiving was 14 turkeys and not one single flare. Cons. Now with every action, there's a reaction. And adding what some may call a restrictor plate to an already well-engineered motor, well, let's just say you're gonna have some issues. With a great heat comes tons of grease. I found myself dumping my grease bucket more after installing this device. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I also have minor issues with leakage coming from areas that were not originally present. I'm also running one strip of gasket seal, but that's across the top lid. Everything else is factory spec. So, finding a way to resolve these leaks in random areas is the new goal for me. From this shot, you can easily see the temperature difference on the exhaust side. So I find myself running the second rack and keeping ribs up top sometimes. Chicken is generally the same way. Also, cleaning the grill is a weekly endeavor due to the buildup that comes with having the downdraft installed. It's not bad, but I don't like a ton of buildup around my grill just simply out of fear. So normal maintenance windows with the downdraft for me are at least a week to a week and a half if I'm having a busy weekend. Overall, this device was as advertised. It saved me fuel, kept my cooks efficient, it was simply amazing. Now granted, I have new issues that are not factory born, but I'm a pit master and this is the process of making your rig truly yours. Kind of like an engine builder or car builder. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this amazing device. And if you wanna try one for yourself, tell Don I sent you. That's gonna close out the video for this week. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing and make sure you hit the bell icon for all notifications. Join the Patreon to become part of the cookout for even more content from me as we tackle and show you that anyone can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.